Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Now, this is kind of a continuation of the last video I did. Apologies if I look down every now and then, I just want to make sure the video is running properly. Um, I have a lot of content that I'm making, not quite back to back, but close enough to where I guess you can consider it that, just because I've got a lot going on. I've been changing in and out today because of projects going on. Projects you guys will see soon enough if you check out the different kind of things and links that I have going on. But that's another topic for a different video. One that is already up as of right now. Um, in, that ca in any case, I digress. To continue the last videos, I want to talk more about my ethics. Something that I have talked about before, but not really thoroughly. Last time, yesterday, I spoke on my work ethics. Today, I actually wanted to talk about my ethics in regards to social skills, I guess you could say. My social morals. Now, I've talked about this in kind of a sense before, but not stupid thoroughly. Now, the kind of person I am, for those who aren't able to tell yet, I'm the kind of person when it comes to relationships of any kind, whether a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, and I guess since I'm bi, I can add boyfriend, boyfriend to that. Likely to be happening is very slim, but that doesn't particularly mean I'm not bi in my eyes. However, um, it could also mean things like brother, sister, son, parents, father, children, which isn't the case yet. I mean, I would not take a ring off if I was married. Honestly, I wouldn't put one on if I wasn't, though. In any case, I think that the more important stats on this kind of thing, the morals that I have when it comes to relationships is how to treat the person. Several people treat different people in different ways. It's just how they're approached in life. Some people are a little bit abusive just because that's how they've learned to treat others. Some just kind of get it from their personality type or a mental or medical circumstance. And you can't really blame them for that. Um, other people treat others with expectations that are ridiculous. And then there are some people like me who, yes, expect stuff from others, but they'll only expect things from others that they would give unto them. Now that's a weird way of, uh, I don't usually use the term unto very often, but it's a term that usually comes to my mind, be mainly because I am kind of a Shakespearean fan. I wouldn't say I'm an addict or anything like that, but because of the fact that I do like Shakespearean um, scripting sometimes, like Romeo and Juliet, I do come up with that term every now and then, but I digress. Um, I think one of the bigger things when it comes to relationship ethics for me would be the fact that I will never treat anybody in any kind of way that I would not expect them to treat me. A good example of this is a past um, friendship that I had uh, with a man named, I'm actually going to call him Pablo, that wasn't his actual name, but for secrecy's sake, or, you know, protection's sake, I guess. I haven't spoken to this guy in a while just because we play it kind of harder ways distance-wise, and it's been very difficult to keep up. Uh, plus, I, the last time he was in discussions with me was on a Facebook account that technically is not supposed to exist. It does, but it's not supposed to. That's a discussion for a different day, though, a story for a completely different day. This friend of mine, we got along really well to a degree where if it wasn't for the fact that a I had a girlfriend already and B he had a girlfriend already and C I kind of strayed away from being with guys even though technically once again I still consider myself by due to the fact that I was attracted to a guy once I would say that he and I may have ended up giving each other a shot in some hypothetical path. Now, this friend of mine, we got along really well. We would come to each other to hang out. 
I remember I met him while living in Arizona, which you won't find much of me in Arizona on this channel. The first two videos, the first video I introduced Francis in was a horrible video, by the way, because it was mainly supposed to be me playing IRL Risk. That went bad. Um, and also a video of me playing a song that I wrote for the piano. An instrumental, mind you. One of the first songs I actually did write. I don't write music very often nowadays, but I do keep wholly in touch with playing the piano as much as I can. And, and not just that. But that's, again, another topic for another day. The main point of this is just that uh, this friend of mine, again, referring to him as Pablo, I think the bond he and I had was core solely based off the idea that you treat me this way and I'll treat you that way right back. And it worked very well. And for the most of the relationships, whether friendship, family, or a generic relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend, it's worked that way. And whenever this idea was compromised, the relationship, for me at least, would fall apart. Unless that aspect was considered at some point and reiterated into being used. I would say this is probably the best way to describe my relationship ethics. But how about you guys? You guys have any different types of mindsets or thoughts on this kind of thing? What sets you apart from me, would you say? Let me know in the comments below if you're intrigued to talk about it. If not, of course you don't have to. But if you did like this video at least, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't say it anymore. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a topic you'd like me to talk about? Let me know in the comments below. Um, or if you want to check out any of the stuff I've done prior to this, click the links on the side of my head along with the icon that's either below it or, well, either way below it, on the screen if you're watching this on a TV or down below if you're on the mobile app or computer. Or if you want to check out any of the recommended stuff, once again, screen, down below, or to the right over here, depending on if it actually shows up or not. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks once again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you guys in another one. Bye for now.